Hello everybody, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create repeating and to some degree spinning shapes just like this. This is obviously a sphere or a circle and it looks like that old hip, old school hypnosis effect you'll see here and it just keeps repeating over and over and over. I'll show you a few other things while I got you here and then we'll take a look at how to do it. Here's an example of triangles. If we start at the beginning, we've got this triangle shape kind of coming out and it's got some effects applied to it, but it looks pretty cool, right? And if we had a few more sides, we'd have something like this, right? Cool stuff. Let me show you how to do this. Very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and start from scratch. Okay, so if we have nothing, we would go file new composition. Let's just go to, yeah, let's just start a new project. All right, right from the beginning. The hell with it. I'm not going to save this. Good. Here's the beginning. New composition, 1920 by 1080. Background color black is fine. Now we're going to go to layer, new, fill. And where is it? Now let's go in layer, new, solid. I'm thinking Photoshop. Uh, and we're going to make this one, let's go with some sort of, I don't know, let's go with a yellowish color, something like that. Okay, good. Click on that. Click on OK. Fair enough. Now, in your effects and presets, you want to go over here, wherever the effects and presets is set for you. If you don't see it, just go to window, make sure there's a check mark beside it. Type in radio, and you'll see something called radio waves. That's right, this is a wild effect. Drag and drop that onto the timeline. And now look what happens. We've gone ahead and it's actually made the blackout back, but that doesn't matter. Uh, we've got this now basic blue, cool looking effect applied to it. All right, and if you don't want to do that, if you wanted it to apply to this yellow, just go ahead and create a duplicate. So I'll just go edit, duplicate the layer, and then let's try that. Let's see what happens. There we go. Now, when I hit spacebar, we've got this cool blue looking um, circular pattern popping out. And this is a repeating shape, and it looks pretty good, but we can make some serious changes to it. One, let's go ahead and change the color from blue to white. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, we got white and maybe, yeah, maybe that's not the right color for this one. Let's go with red. We want some contrast, okay? So we got the red little thing going on here. Now, a couple options. Here's the main ones. Uh, you don't need to adjust render quality. This is generally good enough, but you can go ahead and change the polygon. So um, let's right now, you'll see here when I go to the number of sides, let's see if I can find this. There it is, polygon. It's currently got 64 sides and that is a circle. But when I drop it to three, watch this. This is now a repeating triangle shape. And if we wanna go to like five or, or nine or something like that, we would have some sort of, I don't know, octagon or hexagon or hedicomb or whatever the hell it's called, I don't know. But anyways, adjusting the number of sides and once you get up to 64 or higher, it's basically a perfect circle. Also, we can go ahead and while I got you here, we're gonna make some changes. So curve size doesn't matter for a circle, but if you go to, let's say like something like this and you change the curve size, you can see you can round the corner. So if you don't want the sharp edges, you can adjust that with curve size. A circle is a perfect curve, so uh, that won't make much of a difference. And you can also go ahead and adjust the curviness, but that doesn't do too much for all you thick people out there, <laughs> myself included. All right, good. So there we go. We've got repeating shapes. If you want to go ahead and increase the speed or the frequency that it happens, this will make it like this is a really hardcore effect. And this would be just very, very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the speed to five so you can see the difference. And they're just launching a little bit faster. And then here, frequency is another one. How fast and how much the expansion is. So how, like if you want a larger version, so let's go back to the beginning and expands out quickly, great. And my computer's pretty fast, so I'm gonna reduce this. And you should be able to see what's happening in real time. Frequency, of course, is how fast these things fire. So that's pretty frequent and we can always expand it. And presto, you see where we're getting at, guys? This is an amazing thing. If we wanna spin it, we can go ahead and add the spins to it. So if we wanna make it look really, really cool, we just add some spin and here we go. That's a lot of spin. That's a pretty trippy effect. Something you'd find in Scooby-Doo. But anyways, guys, this is how you go ahead and create repeating shapes, repeating patterns inside After Effects. There's a, fun, a bunch of other things you can adjust. The velocity, this kind of curves it to the side, you see what's happening here? Um, and yeah, lifespan is how quickly and how long they last, so if they want them to die off, etc. And yeah, just awesome, experiment with it. But this is one of my favorite effects, it's easy to use inside Adobe After Effects. Thanks for watching.